What is up and welcome back to the channel. We are your Colorado real estate family. We're gonna be doing something a little different. Usually we bring you all the real estate stats. Usually we tell you about the area, whether or not it's a good place to live. Today, we're gonna be talking about whether or not Thornton, Colorado is a fun city. All right, let's go. If you're new to our channel, Chelsea and Pete here, and if you're interested in moving to Colorado, Denver, or any of the surrounding cities, we're the people that you need to know. So do yourself a favor, guys. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell down below. We put out two videos a week. Yeah, guys, and along those lines, licensed real estate agent right here. So if you're looking at purchasing real estate in the state of Colorado, we're the ones who could help you out with that. We're helping out so many just like you watching this video right now. So if you're looking at purchasing real estate in Colorado, give us a call at the phone number below, right below, right there. All right, cool, let's go ahead and dive in. This is actually gonna be more of a conversational video. Typically we have all of our points laid out and we kind of go by that, but I think we're just gonna talk about it, whether or not Thornton, Colorado is a fun city. Funny enough, we're sitting in the middle of Top Golf. Yes, we <laughs> love Top Golf. We So we get to tell you all these fun things. We get to keep it really conversational because this is the city that we call our home. Yep. And what better people to tell you about the city than the people who chose it for their family. So we're yep. gonna come in here and tell you about all the fun things we like to do. and. Peter just mentioned we're at Top Golf. It is so easy for us to jump over to Top Golf, have a game or two, schedule any of our business meetings here, um, our friends, celebrate one, you know, one another, whatever it may be. Yep. Coming here for whether it's just a drink and some food, or coming out to this outdoor area where they have some live music, or even yep. just actually playing Top Golf. But there's multiple things to do here, and yep. this honestly is where a lot of people will drive in in the north side of town just to come up here to Thornton where we have Top Golf. Yeah, guys. Obviously, Top Golf is known nationwide. Everyone loves playing top golf or most uh, everyone I guess likes. if you don't you play have to try it because yeah. I do not golf guys <laughs> when uh Thornton decided that they were getting the top golf up here it was uh it's it was, it was pretty big news like I said it was almost like up there with in and out in and out was probably the biggest news because yeah. everyone loves in and out here in Colorado because we haven't had them here in the past and so but yeah like I said I mean top golf it was just a huge thing it's one of those things that you could always do it's in the northernmost part of Thornton Colorado that new part that we've talked about so many times in all of our recent videos how the northern part of Thornton is becoming the cool spot to be yeah, so we've talked about a bunch of different cities, but Thornton's one of those things that you haven't really heard much about yet. Yeah. However, if you are from yeah. Colorado, you know that North Thornton and also Northern Westminster are blowing up and we are yeah. getting so many fun things. So if you're a family yeah. like Summit, we have a new Summit. So they have bowling, laser tag. Um, okay, help me out here. Arcade. Yeah, no, the arcade. Uh, they have like the, the bar, bar for adults bar stays up scene. until 2 a.m., which is crazy. I was like, well, isn't this like a kid's place? And then the bar stays open until 2 a.m. Yeah. and I was kind of mixed feelings about that. But because well, yeah. it's like, you know, kids during the day and then fun at night. Um, <laughs> hey, all right, then, Nanny, take the kids home. My gosh, okay. <laughs> so also we have a ton of, like we have two big rec centers in Thornton and that's like unheard of, I yeah. feel like. I mean, it's one thing to have like a really awesome like rec center and then kind of a smaller yeah. rec center. We have two large rec centers. Yeah. We have Margaret Carpenter and we have Trailwind. So, yeah. um, and then also for our senior population, we have a senior, we have two senior center. Oh, I guess the ones in North Glen, but yeah. We have one in Thornton and the one in Northern North Glen, which is really close to Thornton, like right on the border. So yep. we really have a lot of access for our senior population yeah. as well. Yeah, so like Mar the Margaret Carpenter, I think now they just call it Carpenter Rec Center. One oh, of the two, they, like they keep on switching it back and <laughs> forth. Like we're just gonna do Carpenter now. Well, now it's Margaret Carpenter, but that one's in uh, the Southern portion of Thornton. And then Trailwind's the newer one that's in the Northern portion of, of Thornton. And it's just that Thornton is growing so large that now they're like, all right, we need two great rec centers kind of in the different areas of Thornton to accommodate our citizens, whether they're in the north side of Thornton or on the south side of Thornton. Because we have older Thornton and newer Thornton, and yeah. newer Thornton is going north, and then also newer Thornton is going east. And so I think that's kind of the reason they put trail runs out there as well, is to kind yeah. of accommodate and bring in kind of that, it's, um, okay, so for an example, Commerce City and with, um, uh, reunion. reunion. Yep. They had to bring everything to it, right? Because we didn't have a lot of things out that, like shopping and all of the accessibility. But they're doing the same thing in this North Thornton area, especially yeah. on the east side, is bringing all of the shopping and convenience to that newer area that didn't have that once before. The two different rec centers are really different. So Margaret Carpenter has the big field, and that's and it has where, like the pond, and you can walk around it all, and they have the paddle boats that you could go out on the pond. And well, I guess it's, I mean. 
Would you consider it a pond? I guess so. Maybe not. It's, it's a it's, little pond. It's a good size little, little lake, I guess. Okay. You know, there's two of them though. <laughs> but anyways, they um, do all of the festivals there. So this is kind of the that's where all the like the winter fest and oh my gosh, there's so many festivals. There's, I don't there, even know. Okay, there. so it's Thornton Fest. Is it Thornton, Thornton fest, fest? Right. Yes. Uh, they do the Halloween thing down there. They uh, do they the, do the Fourth one. of July down they there. The, the winter they make it. I think it's called Winter Wonderland, oh, where they make it a so whole Winter cute. Wonderland. Um, so the. I'm pretty sure that their Harvest Festival they held at a different park. But the majority of your events are happening in that, that Carpenter Park right there. It's just a huge park. We're probably throwing some drone up here or there somewhere so you guys can check it out. But huge park down there. Whereas Trail Winds, it doesn't necessarily have that large park around it. it they have a great dog park that's right around it. But uh, if you have that big park, there's really not too much gathering. Oh, I guess they have the skate park out there. Yeah, yeah. and Trail Winds is also has a bunch of workout um, classes. So yeah. like body pump and Pilates. Well, they both have workout classes, don't they? Yeah, but yeah. I'm pretty sure I've heard that Trail Runs like reputation on that whole workout space <laughs> is a little bit better. You okay. know, I mean, I know that they had um, recently renovated over at Mark and Car or Margaret Carpenter because when we were doing gymnastics this last time, the whole area was getting renovated. So I do know that they were trying to kind of update it a little bit, like keep up with the other, yeah. you know. Well, that's uh, where our son other. took his swim lessons when he was six months yeah. old. And so they, did, they have a lot of great kid stuff if you want to like get them in the beginning portion of of their sports and all that. So the, both rec centers kind of accommodate any any kind of families who are looking to get their kids involved in sports. And then of course, if you live in Thornton and you're a resident, you get that resident discount. So obviously that makes sense. You gotta weigh your pros and cons um, as far as working out goes. Now say you're really active and you're coming yeah. here and you do like to go to the gym. Thornton actually has a lot of options for gyms as well. We yeah. have Choose, we have Vaza, we have Planet Fitnesses, we have, God, what else do we have? We have a lot. We have, oh, so Lifetime I guess is in Northwest. So we have a Lifetime. So yes. if you're in North Westminster or North Thornton, it's just right across, right across the highway the in North Westminster. Uh, but yeah, we have pretty much any kind of gym that you could think of. Uh, Anytime Fitness, I guess it's the one. Fitness, yeah. 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 So if you're kind of an active person and you want to go to the gym, we have a lot of options in Thornton, believe it or not. And they're usually newer, so they're really nice. Yeah. Um, the other thing too is even though we're not necessarily in Thornton, we get to take advantage of everything that is in North Westminster because yeah. it's right across the highway. So, yeah. um, like newer Thornton is very accessible, at least on the west side, it's very accessible to the highway, which makes it really nice for commuting, but yeah. it also makes it really nice just to go jump across the highway, go over to north. They have um, a great Westminster. outlet mall over there. Yeah, they have the some orchard. events over there, so you can kind of take advantage oh. of all that stuff as well, too. The great thing about Thornton, though, is if you do want to go shopping, we have the Denver Premium Outlets, which right. was also a huge buzz talk once it was kind of starting coming into Thornton. Yeah, so the only other outlets are Centura and Loveland, Castle Rock, There's and Silverthorn. Then Silverthorn. I think that's, I think that's uh, it, right? I think that's it, And yeah. then ours, which is right down the street. Now, the shopping is great. They actually have a really good military discount for all of you. That's out there and an active military. Um, yeah. But we also have this really awesome park at the Denver Outlet Mall. So if you're a family, now, be careful because the slide is like it's so huge. crazy. It's all metal. It's so all if it's metal. too hot out, the yes. kids are like burning themselves on it. Yeah. But our son like constantly is asking us to go to the park just to play at the park next to the mall. And so it's a, it's a pretty awesome It's park. really cool. It's very rope based. Um, but yes, it, it is it is hot and it does get hot here in the summer. If you don't know about our weather, go check out one of our other videos. We cover a lot of the, all four seasons yep. and then we even go into real estate in different seasons. So go check that out. But it does get really hot here. And unfortunately, that outlet mall is not covered we do typically see some of our newer parks have sales and things like that to do cover it or to cover the playground during the hot seasons like uh july and august but yeah. unfortunately that is such a huge park i don't even know how they would try to yeah, cover I have that no idea. They have to be like a space dome or some crap yes. <laughs> but they also have um the jumping thing what's it called oh the trampolines the trampoline. where you know you tie the kids up and what's you have them called? jump I don't know. We're not going to be able to figure out what that is right now. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Tell us down below. But anyways, it also has some things to do outside. Yeah. Um, they have a like a typical mall. They still have all of the food court and everything like that where you can kind of run around. It's a really nice space. So. Something new that's been coming to Thornton these last couple of years, which actually we decided to go to last year, is the circus. The and circus. they usually put the tent up it's over so at fun. the outlet mall parking lot. But that was something that, I mean, they, we've never really seen that happen before. Yeah. And so last year we saw this huge tank open. We're like, holy crap, what's going on? And then, so now they like yearly have the circus here in Thornton. Yeah, so things that are coming to Thornton. So we've talked about this in a couple other videos, but let's dig into it a little bit. We are getting a lot of future development up here. Yep. We're getting amphitheaters added in, yep. uh, you know, on Washington, one of the main streets that goes north off the highway, uh, north and south. Yep. Um, and that's going to consist of like more, more restaurants and um, kind of try to put in that whole walkability that all these other cities are trying yep. to capture. We also have East Lake. So East Lake is the most recent area that we got the light rail. And yep. so is East Lake 
fun right now. I mean, there is like a, a hole in the wall bar. There. <laughs> but other yeah. than that, it's not fun yet. But I'm telling you guys, this is going to probably be that little downtown that Thornton's been wanting, um, as well as this whole area that we are in Top Golf and stuff like that. But just trying to bring in some more walkability and fun areas. But we have a lot of access to fun things. Well, and so here's another thing too. Even if you're not staying inside of Thornton, you have that East Lake Station. Say you want to go down and watch a Broncos game, a Rockies game, a Nuggets game. And so you have that access. It's just a quick, you know, I think, what is it, like 15 minutes, I yeah. think. Ride all the way down. I think it's like three bucks. That way you don't have to get stuck in that after game traffic because who wants to be stuck in that traffic after you just got done watching the game? You might be tired. All you have to do is just hop on that light rail and then take it back up north. And then there you go. And they actually, so they have the, the East Lake Station. We talked about north quite a bit. But also on the south side, too, you have 104th and you have 112th. You also have stations there as well, too. So right. Thornton has three stations currently where we're planning on getting a fourth one here. I don't know. I, I, I could say soon all I want, but I it's really not in the process right now. We'll see maybe in the next five, ten years we'll get the Northern Station. I mean, it is in the plans. It's yeah. just not actually actively acting, working yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it's in the plans. They're just not actively working on it. Right. So. <laughs> right. Um, okay. The other thing, too, is, again, not in Thornton, but right on the edges of Thornton. So we get um, the carnival um, in two different places up here. So we get it over at the Orchard, which is right across the street. And we also get it kind of in that North Glen, that North North Glen area over at yeah. E.B. Rains Park. We get to take advantage of the E.B. Rains Park a lot in Thornton because it's right on the edge. Like North Glen and Thornton butt up to each other and yeah. they do a lot of that E.B. Rains Park. It's actually, it's so weird. The E.B. Rains Park is actually closer to us than Margaret Carpenter. Yeah. But because how North Glen kind of cuts into everything, it, it's actually technically North Glen. But yeah. we do get two different carnivals really close by. That's within five minutes distance depending on where you are in Thornton to go take advantage of that with the kids and the family. All right so let's just kind of talk about your day-to-day -day activities right what is there to do so say you want your kids in sports there are some great sport programs here in Thornton our son does I-9 baseball we have wrestling programs here they have football programs so there are all those those kids sports sporting programs here in Thornton I mean pretty much anything you want to do lacrosse soccer all of them they're all available here in Thornton. Yeah so um and just to kind of give you an idea the middle school here in Thornton um right uh, south of that is where all the field are and so a lot of the different programs like Northern Lights for baseball and some of the more competitive leagues they all kind of take advantage of some of those different yep. fields and so it's kind of right centralized you know within Thornton um, they do jump around to other cities but we do get a lot of games within that small space so yep. all right so we just talked to you a little bit about all the fun things that we like to do whether you are coming here by yourself or you have a family there are so many things to do in Thornton it is a fun city we chose it for ourselves and there's multiple reasons why but if you're interested in anything else about Thornton please let us know comment down below we do this videos for you. All right, guys, we're going to put that phone number below, right below, right there. One more time. That way, if you're looking at purchasing real estate, we are available to you all the time. Chelsea's going to be the one answering those calls. Until next time, we love you. Bye. Bye. Well, today, we're going to go over wow. Oh. All right, cool. Let's go ahead. And oh, wait, no. I got to do the phone number. Mm -hmm. uh, to, what am I trying to say? To, uh, to it, like, to accommodate serve the people on the east side. Accommodate our citizens, okay. To accommodate our city and, uh, or I don't want to say that. That way you don't have to drive, get stuck in that at that after game traffic. That way you can utilize that light rail station so you're not getting stuck in the after game pra or uh, the after game traffic, right? Because who's that? Go back home and you're good to go. Oh God. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna put that phone number below. Right. Let's do it again. <laughs>